In this video, we're going to be discussing some of the similarities and differences between two and four stroke diesel engines. We're going to begin by recapping the four stroke internal combustion engine cycle, and then we're going to look at the two stroke cycle in order to identify some of the differences. Finally, we're going to briefly discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of each of these different types of engine. So first of all, let's reconsider the four stroke cycle. Now, as we know, the first stage of the cycle is the intake stage. And during the intake stage, the piston in the cylinder retracts, drawing air into the cylinder. The piston in the cylinder then moves forward in order to compress that air. And once that air is fully compressed, we inject fuel into the cylinder in order to cause combustion, which is going to force the piston back down the cylinder. Finally, when the piston moves forward for a second time, we're forcing the exhaust gases out of the cylinder. The important thing here is we only deliver power every two rotations of the crankshaft. So during the first rotation of the crankshaft, we draw air in and we compress that air. During the second rotation, we deliver power and then we exhaust the gas. And then we go back to the beginning. So for the third rotation, we draw in air and we compress the air. And for the fourth rotation, we ignite the fuel, we create power, and then we exhaust the gases. So we only have a power stroke every two revolutions of the crankshaft. So let's see how this differs from a two-stroke cycle. So in a two-stroke cycle, we only have two strokes. We have an upward stroke and a downward stroke. And in actual fact, what happens is we combine the stages from the four-stroke cycle. So as we can see here, the upstroke is intake and ignition. Well, in order for this to occur, we need to consider both sides of the piston because above the piston head, we have ignition or the start of our power stroke. And below the piston head, what we're actually doing is creating a partial vacuum in order to draw the air into the chamber. So we have intake below the piston and we have ignition above the piston. Now, as we know, when the air fuel mixture ignites, the piston's going to be pushed back down the cylinder. So as the piston's pushed back down the cylinder, the air that's in the lower chamber is actually going to follow a different path and it's going to travel round the outside path here and back into the top of the cylinder. And we can see this represented on the second diagram. The retracting piston has forced the new air through the second route and into the top chamber. Now in doing so, what we've actually done is displace the combusted air fuel mixture. So the important thing here is we're actually utilizing both sides of the piston head. So at the top of the upstroke, we're drawing air into the lower chamber and simultaneously we're igniting our air fuel mixture. And at the bottom of the downstroke, we're going to be compressing the new air fuel mixture at the same time as expelling the combusted air fuel mixture. Now what this means when we compare it to the four stroke cycle is that we're delivering power on every rotation of the crankshaft. So there's a power stage during every rotation instead of every two rotations. So let's consider some of the advantages and disadvantages of each of these. And we're going to begin with the four stroke engine. Now some of the main advantages of the four stroke engine are as follows. First of all, we have higher fuel efficiency. Now, as you can see, all of the fuel in this chamber is going to be combusted. There's nowhere for it to escape to. So all of the fuel is going to be combusted. Therefore, more of the fuel power is going to be converted to shaft power. This also leads to cleaner emissions because when we have complete combustion, we get less byproducts in the emissions. And another advantage is because we have a closed chamber during our power stroke, we can deliver higher torques using a four stroke engine. This does all come at a price. First of all, four stroke engines tend to be much heavier. And the reason for that is because they have more parts and they're more complex. Some of the complexities occur because we need to be able to control the opening and closing of our intake and exhaust valves. Here we have a downward stroke and we're drawing air inwards. Therefore, the intake valves open. Here we have a downward stroke, but both of those valves are closed. Similarly, during the compression stroke, we have an upward stroke of the piston and both of our valves are closed. But when we compare that to the exhaust stage, we have an upward stroke and we need to open the exhaust valve. So there's more moving parts and the engine itself is more complex and therefore tends to be heavier. 
So let's consider how that compares to our two-stroke engine. So first of all, in the two-stroke engine, we do have a couple of advantages. They tend to be lower weight and they tend to have fewer moving parts for the reasons that we've already stated in relation to the four-stroke engine. There are some disadvantages and the first disadvantage is lower fuel efficiency. The reason for this is when the fuel is injected into the cylinder, some of that can escape immediately through the exhaust. So if you like, we can get some leakage of the fuel before it's all been fully combusted. And this actually leads to the second disadvantage as well. Therefore, we end up with more harmful emissions because we don't always have complete combustion. You may have noticed that two-stroke engines tend to produce more smoke, and this is one of the reasons behind this. Another fairly significant disadvantage is that they tend to produce lower torque. Now again, that's because at the bottom of our power stroke here, some of the air can escape immediately through the exhaust. So we're less able to trap all of the air-fuel mixture and turn all of that fuel power into useful work. So as we can see, the two and four stroke engines do have a number of different relative advantages and disadvantages. Two stroke engines tend to be used for smaller devices, possibly things such as chainsaws or go-karts. And the main reason for that is because they're lighter, they have fewer moving parts, and there tends to be less things that can go wrong with them as a result. Four stroke engines, on the other hand, tend to be used for heavy lifting applications. So they tend to be used in transport and haulage. And the reasons behind that is because they're able to produce more torque, they're more fuel efficient, and they produce lower emissions, which is also a big focus in today's day and age. So just to recap, in this video we've recapped the four-stroke engine cycle, and we've made comparisons to the two-stroke internal combustion engine cycle. Finally, we've looked at some of the advantages and disadvantages associated with both two- and four-stroke engines.